I have a, a fancy little device here called an Ebo. And I've used this on a few of my recordings, especially the ones with Amy, where she's playing guitar or keyboards or something. And I want to create an effect on top of what she's doing. Um, it's only good for one string at a time. And on an acoustic guitar, it's really mostly only good for the second string because you have to rest it on the strings, adjacent strings. So it sits here and there's a little electromagnet in here that vibrates this second string up and down, and creates a vibration. And um, I use this a lot for effects where I want to get sort of a spooky effect. And by adding vibrato on the left hand, instead of just letting that sit, you can almost make it sound like a uh, wind instrument, like a flute. And picking up the higher octave is kind of fun. And it's kind of the same thing that we were doing with our thumb there. If I move this different places on here, the, the position of your left hand is important because you want to make sure that when you move from note to note, it's smooth. You can hear these weird noises like this if you're not, if you're not practiced. I can't even do it anymore because I'm so used to the way it feels. But the thing I've heard the most is people moving from one note to another and getting a really weird, like, eh, eh sound. <laughs> now there I picked up another harmonic by accident, but that's always kind of fun. You never know when that might happen. And it'll go as long as you hold it. Until the battery dies, that is. And um, there's a switch on the back of this model that allows you to pick that higher harmonic automatically. And that's kind of fun if you want to keep up in that high range. And it won't even go to the low one. It almost sounds like a flute when you're in a mix. using that behind the nut bend with it. So I, uh, I think if you, you know, I think these cost about 80 bucks or something, I don't remember, but I've had a lot of fun playing with them. And sometimes I'll get lost just playing on one string like that. And it's kind of good practice in a way for your left hand to have to play on one string without plucking and just find the melodies like that, you know. So, um, so there you got harmonics, you've got uh, the re natural reverb, the overtones, and then the ebo, which took into consideration all of that, you know. Which, if you were listening carefully, I'll show you again, without touching these strings, the ebo is creating its own reverb too. See, the guitar is doing that. So really, the last thing with Ebo, we're incorporating overtones, harmonic overtones, and then the, uh, the reverb effect, too. So there you go. There's all of them in one. 